Hey guys, in this question, we're going to do, or in this video, we're going to do number four in our chapter 18 homework. Um, so, so consider life happily field. A small player in a strawberry um, business where production has no individual effect on wage and prices. So this is a small company in a very competitive market, and they have no price control or market power. So live lively production schedule for strawberry is given in the following table. All right, so we'll have the production functions, so with labor is an output, and then with more number of labor you have, the more output you have, so this is the production function. Um, suppose the market wage for strawberry pickers is $20 per, per worker per day, and the price for strawberry is $13 per pound. All right, so, um, so on the following graph, use the blue point circle symbol to plot uh, live life uh, happily labor demand curve when the price when the output price is thirteen dollar per pound. Okay, so to to plot the demand curve here, we need to find out what is the company's VMPL. So to find the VMPL, uh, where's my Excel spreadsheet? All right, so to find the VMPL, we need to um, take the the price of the item times the MPL. So what is the marginal part of labor? So of the table over here on the left, we need to modify it a bit. So we need to add one more column. Let's call this one um, the MPL. So MPL, uh, you know, let me change something. So let me call this one uh, labor. You know, why don't I just copy everything on here, right? That will make it easier. So copy. And let me just try to paste it here, see if it works. Paste. Uh, okay, all right, good enough. <laughs> it's not perfect, but it's good enough. Okay, uh, let me take this one away. That's too ugly. All right, there we go. So, um, so first, we're going to find out what is our MPL. So MPL is the difference between each level, right? So for the first worker, uh, before we produce nothing, now produce 20, so the MPL for the first worker is 20 minus 0. That's your first worker. And the second one should be uh, 38 minus 20. So that's your output for the second worker. And then for everybody else, I'm going to just copy the formulas here. So that is your um, everybody else. Now next, your VMPL. So VMPL, we're going to take um, the MPL times the price of the good. Now price is $13, so for the first one it will be 20 times $13, um, so that's your first one, and then everybody else, that's the rest of it, okay? So I'm going to graph this into our little table there, okay, so um, our little graph over here. Alright, so for the first one it's going to be 260, now again be careful, uh, because we cannot put a point exactly. Um, exactly on the one uh, has to be 0.5 okay so for the first worker will be 0.5 how much did you say it was 260 right Let me double check yeah so first one is 260 and then 234 for the second one so 234 and the next one is going to be 208 and 180 so 208 uh, God, I can't remember all the numbers. Uh, 182 and 156. So 182 and 156. All right, so that's when the price is $13. That's a demand curve for the uh, laborers, for the pickers. Okay, so uh, so given, uh, so at the given range and price level, live happily should hire how many workers? So our wage uh, is how much? Wage is two hundred dollar per person. So as long as the VMPL is more than two hundred, we should hire the employee. So if you draw like an imagine a line somewhere over here uh, at two hundred, the first worker is above two hundred, so we we'll hire the first worker. Second person is two thirty four. That's also more than two hundred. We we'll hire the third worker. Uh, I'm second worker. Then third worker here is at two hundred eight. We we'll hire the third person. But the fourth person only bring in 182. That's less than 200. So we're going to stop at three people. Okay, so we hire three people. 
All right, now next, suppose the price of strawberries increased to $15 per pound, but the wage remains at 200. So we're gonna draw a new demand curve, so new VMPL. Uh, let's change our numbers here. So this one should be 15, and then change everybody else. There we go. All right, so first person is 300. So 300 for the first guy. Uh, second, 270, 240, 210. So 270, uh, 240, 210. And last one's what, 180? Yeah, 180. So 180 is the last person. Ooh, that was close. You guys saw that, right? So be careful, it's 180, not 182. All right, so this is our demand curve. Um, so now, um, leave happily to hire how many people? So again, as long as it's more than 200, uh, we're gonna hire this person, right? So first person again, we're gonna hire the first person. Second person at 270, we'll hire the second person. Uh, third person, 240, we'll hire him. Uh, fourth person, 210, we'll hire this person too. Uh, last person here is 180, it's too little, it's not enough. We're gonna only hire four people there. Okay, so we're gonna hire four workers. Um, all right, so assume that all strawberry producing firm have a similar production schedule. Uh, increase in the price of strawberry will cause, um, so this will be on the demand for strawberry pickers, because in, in the factory market, um, firms on the demand side, so it wouldn't cause a change in the supply for stra strawberry pickers, uh, that will be cause of demand for strawberry pickers. Um, now, however, if you have something changes, let's say there, there are more number of migration, or there are better education for strawberry pickers, so that might cause a change in the supply for strawberry pickers. But this is for the firms, and firms on the demand side of this labor market. So this will change the demand for strawberry pickers. So a higher price for strawberries, so company have a higher profit, they're gonna hire more workers. So strawberry picker demand will be increased. All right, um, now suppose the wage increased to 250 uh, due to an increase in demand for, uh, for workers in this market. Assuming that the price of strawberry remains at $15 per pound, leave happily to hire 100 people now. So if the price, is, if the wage is 250, let's use the same concept, right? So for the first person, um, he can produce 300, we'll hire the first person. Second person produce 270, we'll hire him too. Third person is only 240, we don't hire him, right? So only hire two people there. So two workers will be hired. All right, so good now. Okay, we got everything right. So guys, that's how you do number four in chapter 18 homework. Uh, have any question, let me know. Okay, good luck. Bye-bye.